We would not be here if the Justice Department and the federal government had done what it should have done. In every meeting with the federal government, Attorney Michael Hardy, General Counsel Tanan, and I have been with the family, where they advised the family they were doing an active investigation and the police department was waiting on that. Justice delayed is justice denied. Why would you have no choking policies if you're not going to enforce them? Why would you say that unarmed people can't be killed by police if you're not going to enforce them? So the city is on trial. And to try and delay this to July would have been a second insult to this family and to our community. Um, it was mixed emotions. I felt sort of numb uh, being in the same space with my son's murderer. I am so glad to all of you who came to stand in support of me. Um, for, your, for those who were in the courtroom, they see that they did set a trial date for us, even though it's in May, but we did get a trial date. We would have liked to have seen it much earlier, but I am just glad that this is moving forward. Today's the start of a process. Unfortunately, what we see in this process is that we're having a trial in front of a kangaroo court. All we ever asked for as New York City police officers is for fairness, for this advocate to listen to the evidence, not the noise. We can't listen to the noise, let's listen to the evidence. We are going to bring before us evidence that Officer Pantaleya did exactly what he was trained to do. Our medical expert will show that not only was there no chokehold, but when he was indicating I can't breathe, his arm was not around the neck at all. If you look at the video frame by frame, it's a very different video than if you view it once in real time. The problem is we need to educate both the media and the public that not only was there never a chokehold, but Officer Pantaleo was just making a simple arrest using a seatbelt technique.